Let's just learn about very important topic heparin versus warfarin under 90 seconds tested in NCLEX. Heparin is a drug which inhibits the formation of fibrin clots and this is a short acting drug that's why you can give it to the patients either IV or subcutaneous. Warfarin on the other side is also called as Coumadin which is given orally to the patient and this is a long acting one. It can take even up to 5 days to reach the therapeutic levels. In heparin, we look into the APTT lab values and we try to maintain the level 46 to 70. Whereas in warfarin, we look into the INR and we try to maintain the level between 2 and 3. Heparin is good and it's okay to be given in pregnancy. Whereas in warfarin, is completely contraindicated in pregnancy. Now let's just talk about their antidotes, right? So now think about it. Antidotes are hidden in the letters. So heparin, per, per. Protamin sulfate is given for heparin, whereas warfarin, which is coumadin, k, k, we give vitamin K to the patient. I hope you guys understand this. Now, let's just look into the quick nursing responsibilities. So, two main, you have to monitor the coagulation profile of the patient. And number two, you have to watch the patient for bleeding because you know these medications can induce the bleeding signs in the patient. Stay tuned and follow for more informative videos.